Tonight, new information about last night's deadly DUI-related car crash that killed three sisters and sent a fourth to the hospital. And that is our top story tonight at 6. Good evening. I'm Santaya Rose in for Sarah Sandrick. The Fresno County Coroner's Office has released the identities of the alleged drunk driver and the crash victims in last night's fatal collision. It happened along McCall north of Belmont just after 6 o'clock. Action News reporter Anthony Pura is live in Del Rey where two of the victims lived. He joins us with more on their identities and who the suspect is. Anthony? Well, CHP says 56-year-old Tranquilino Figueroa was driving drunk last night when he hit the four sisters. Now he's in the hospital tonight with major injuries, and he's also facing some serious charges for the crash. California Highway Patrol officers say 56-year-old Tranquilino Figueroa was drunk when he got behind the wheel of this minivan. He was driving north on McCall Saturday night when he drifted into the path of this Toyota Yaris. Investigators say the driver of the Toyota, 67-year-old Elizabeth Rodriguez, tried to swerve out of the way but couldn't avoid a head-on collision. She was taken to the hospital, but her three sisters died on scene. They've been identified as 73-year-old Jenny Monreal from Sanger, 72-year-old Josephine Contreras of Del Rey, and 70-year-old Dolores Rodriguez of San Jose. California Highway Patrol officers say all of the victims were wearing their seat belts. Now Elizabeth Rodriguez has been listed in fair condition at Community Regional Medical Center. In the meantime, Figueroa has been placed under arrest. He's facing DUI as well as vehicular manslaughter charges. For now, we're reporting live in Del Rey. Anthony Pura, ABC 30 Action News.